Hey guys, so just before this starts, I'm showing this is which blender you need to download. So it's going to ask you if you want to download the latest blender or the old blender. And so you're going to, yeah, so that's the late download and that's the old one. So you're going to want to click the download um, old blender. And it might look a bit weird, but don't worry. So you need to find which device that you have. So I have a Mac OS and I click, um, I do the zip one. I'm pretty sure for most of the, all of them you have to do zip. I'm not too sure, so don't get angry with me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, and then once you click on it for Mac, it just will go into your downloads and then you just, if you download something, then you probably will know what to do. And yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy the video and this is how to make um, an aesthetic Roblox GFX thumbnail. Um, hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name's Nicole. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a GFX um, thumbnail. So I know that these ones are really bad, but that's because I was not really sure on how to do them. And I haven't actually learned from anyone. It's just that while I was um, like watching like low, I was watching like loads and loads of YouTubers and I um, and I kind of like gathered kind of like a way that I can be able to make a really nice one so I'm going to be showing you one guys how to make one so out of these two this is one's my favorite and it actually is way easier than you think um, but it does take like just a bit of practice not too much practice but just a bit so what we're going to be using we're going to be using Pixlr, Blender and Roblox Studio so um First, I want to do this so that it's just like open, I guess, because I don't really want to have to end up having to, like, I don't know, like, open it, I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to do Playful Pixlr X because I don't really like the advanced one. I know how to use it, it's just that I like the layout better. And as you can see, I've got <laughs> a lot of my things here. So, um, um, you can just find like a nice background kind of, I guess. But that was kind of just showing you how to do it. So I'm going to pick this one because this one's pretty nice, I guess. Yeah, it's okay if it's a bit grainy because, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you want the width to be, wait, 180. 1280 and 720. Okay, that's the actual width, I guess. Finally, okay. Now we're going to click on. I forgot what the filter thing is. Yeah, filter. I'm gonna just put this all the way to as much as you want. I kind of like it like pretty much, pretty much blurred. I don't really know why, I just like it like that. Now, what we're gonna do now, we're going to go into Roblox Studio. And when you go on to when you go into Roblox Studio, you're going to um, if you've never been on it, you're gonna have to log into it. But don't worry, it's not that hard. Just log into your Roblox account. Um, so yeah, and then you're, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a plugin. So you're gonna click plugins, and I have this load character thing. But if you have not got it, then you won't have it. So you have to go into toolbox which for me is already there so i'm um, guessing it is for you too oh okay i accidentally moved the toolbox i'm sorry about that okay well it doesn't really matter but you're just gonna search up in the marketplace um load load character light that's what it's called load character light um Why is it? Why, why? Oh, for some reason it was in, I forgot it was in images, but do it in plugins. Load Carrick to light. And you're going to do, do do the one that's free. Um, yeah. And then you just basically, yeah. And then afterwards you have to click load par character and you're going to put in whoever's Roblox username you want to do, but obviously this is your thumbnail. So yeah. 
Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear my laptop fanning up. I'm very sorry. Um, yep, Nicole underscore zero. I'm going to spawn R6. Now, if you accidentally spawn two of them, just all you have to do is just click backspace and then, yeah. And then it removes one of them. Now, I like how I look, but I want to change my face. So, I'm going to change. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this, like, thing over here. And also, I want to remove the Reese's Dealy Bopper, so I'm going to click. Wait, no. I want to remove the pink hat. So I'm going to remove. I'm going to click remove. And then I'm going to do... So, yeah. And then afterwards, I'm going to find where it says head. And there's head. I'm going to remove the face because um, I kind of want mine to be like a hmm face. If I can't find that, then I'll just do like a super happy face. So I'm going to go into images in the marketplace and I'm going to do hmm like that, I guess. Okay, well, I can't find one, but I'm just going to do like a super happy, super, super happy face. Okay. So, and then like loads of these will come up or whatever, and then you just have to, once you find the one you want, just drag it onto the face, and boom, it's really easy. Um, you can also change your clothes, but I, can't, I don't really want to, I like my clothes. So now what you're going to do is you're going to find where it says your name, and you're going to do, you're going right, to right click it and then do export selection, and you're going to do... Um, how to make a thumbnail or whatever you want it to be called. Now make sure, because I'm on a Mac, I don't really know about Windows, but make sure it's not saved in either MacBook Pro or Macintosh HD. I mean it might not be MacBook Pro for you if you, if you have a MacBook Air, I don't know. But I'm going to save this in to my iCloud Drive. There it is. Save. Okay, now you can just do command Q or quit. I don't know. Anyway, I do command Q to do a quick thingy. I don't know. Then if it's gonna ask you this, I'm gonna just click no because there's really no point. And we're gonna go into Blender. Now I'm gonna have the link for Blender down below. You're gonna need to download Blender 2.79. Um, um, I guess um, you're gonna need to download Blender 2.79. Um, okay, so now you're gonna do file. And you're gonna do import and you're gonna do wavefront obj um now what you're gonna do is you're going to go wherever you saved yours i did mine here and whatever you named it there's gonna be two different ones it's gonna be mtl or obj you want to do you're gonna want to do obj now i'm gonna do import obj and now what i'm gonna do you might seem that see that this looks really weird but don't worry so we're gonna do Ambulant, ambient occlusion and texture solid. Now it's back to normal. Yay! <laughs> um, now you're gonna go down. And you're gonna pick where you want to where you want it to be in. So I of course want it to be in my thingies, and I'm gonna just do GFX thumbnail. Eight, okay, except so basically you have to click where you want it to be, and then underneath here, call it whatever you want to call it, and click accept. Now it will be there now what you're going to do is you're going to you can change the resolution if you want i don't really usually do that because i feel like there's no point because it looks pretty fine decent the way it is um but you can of course do that now we're going to click as well i'm going to do in ambient occlusion again and interrupt lighting and then yeah now you're going to click on view we're going to scroll up to camera and there so you're gonna have to do so that you can move around because you can't obviously right now you're gonna do shift f this is how you move around it's the same way as you would in roblox pretty easy and to go fast you do you hold shift like that um and i'm just kind of trying to like angle it at like a right and like a good place so that looks pretty good now you see here now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click whatever you want to do whatever um i don't really okay i'm trying to think what i actually want it to be like um because i don't know because i didn't i didn't actually think this out i'm so i'm so stupid okay um but i'm gonna just do like uh 
I think I might just do like a simple like waving one I guess so to do that you're gonna click the bending one sorry about that and where it has the red you're gonna because basically this is to move to the side this is to move up and down kind of like to flip around and this one is like to move in and out I kind of forgot just for a second so I'm gonna flip it around of course you can't see it because it's like been flipped around but you're gonna just do the pointing one and you're just gonna go up and then to go down you just do it the opposite direction pretty snazzy um Okay, so I kind of want mine to be a bit more bended, like I feel like it looks a bit weird. So we're going to do edit mode, um, and then we're going to do wireframe. Now this may look weird, but don't worry. So you're going to right click it, and then you're going to do hold control, and you're going to left click and drag like your mouse like around where you want it to be kind of bended. Now it's able to be bended. So I kind of want mine just to be like a bit like that. And so, so that it doesn't look like this, you kind of, you're going to click this and then you're going to move it like that. Boom, pretty nice. Now it's basically done and you're going to do object mode and then you're going to do solid. Um, I kind of li I like how that looks, I mean it just looks kind of normal I guess. Um, and now what you're going to do, you're going to do render and render image shouldn't take too long I mean depending on your computer speed but for me it doesn't really generally take long now so that it's actually saved you're gonna click image and then you're gonna do save as image now you just have to click wherever you want it to be of course I'm gonna do mine in my iCloud and I'm gonna do Geo GFX thumbnail yeah 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 I don't know what I'm doing I save my things as the most randomest things but as doing YouTube of course I can't but I, I don't know so now we're going to just quit it. If it says that, don't mind that. Unless you haven't saved it, of course. So now we're just going to, now we're back on Pixlr and you're going to click the plus right here. You're going to do image and then you're going to go wherever you saved your thing. So mine's right here. And now I forgot to, I don't really, I forgot how to make um, pictures. Um, I forgot how to make pictures transparent in Blender. So this is what I usually do. Because I can't really find any videos. I don't know, it's really weird. Okay guys, so I remember the reason why it wasn't properly working. It's because when you do it, you have to do it as a remove. And you can then change the tolerance, I guess. And yeah, so it, I don't really care if the, you can do it as many times as you want to get it perfect. I don't really care if there's like this, these things. Not that I don't care as a YouTuber, but the thing I don't care about is just because like you can't properly see it so that's why i don't really mind now i'm just going to place this i kind of want this to be kind of big so yeah now i'm going to do text and i'm going to do add new text and um i've got some downloaded fonts um if you want i can do like a video on how to do it but um it's really easy if you've already downloaded fonts all you have to do is just get the font where, where it says add local fonts you just have to click on it and then drag the font that you want so I'm gonna do beauty and beast I'm gonna do how wait so what I usually like doing I like putting like these things on it um, it's kind of hard to explain what key they are um, how to make okay now I want to change the font how to make uh. oh yeah but it's meant to look you see how because i think it's just because like it's beauty and the beast but like um it's basically those so you have to click that but yeah how to make and then i'm gonna make this kind of just a bit bigger how to make um, if you want to put an outline, I might put an outline, it really depends. Yeah, how to make, oh my god, it's summer, it's meant to be summer right now and it's raining outside, okay. Um, oh, oops, if you accidentally import another one, it's okay. Just click the font and you're gonna, girl, okay. How to make 
Roblox. And then I'm going to add one more text and I'm going to do as thumb, thumbnail. I'm really sorry if you can't find it. I'm really bad at explaining things, but um, yeah, <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining things. So I'm going to save it. So I'm going to click save. And I'm just gonna save it to whatever I want. Make sure that this is the width. If it won't be that big of a problem if it isn't, it's just that it won't completely fit the video. That's why some of my thumbnails don't fit because I did not know. I'm just really annoyed because I'm actually been doing this for like five days now, just posting non-stop. And it's really annoyed because um, it's really because like it's like. I'm making so much better interest. I'm not interested. Thumbnails. So how to make a thumbnail for YouTube? Okay. And then you're just gonna click download and it's gonna go to your download folder, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. And there, now it's downloaded. How nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what videos you want me to do next and what tutorials. I'm not, I'm not really a beginner at YouTube. It's just that when I did, because I used to do this before, um, but I just kind of forgot all my tips and tricks sorry i was closing the window i forgot all my tips and like tricks and all that stuff but i do know i just yeah i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed so make sure to like and subscribe and